All right, in the previous video, we looked at this function right here. Um, you know, if you're allowed a graphing calculator and it doesn't specify that you have to graph without it, why not use it, guys? Go into the graph page, punch in your function. There it is. I mean, the only difficult thing here would be actually looking at what the asymptote is, but if we look at a table, we could get points, and knowing that there's going to be an asymptote shifted in the positive one direction because of the x minus one, we should be able to graph this. And to grab that table, we go into menu table, split screen table, and we can put in some, there's two, one, three, two, five, three, so on and so on. So, let's go to another example. Um, here we're graphing an exponential. Find the equation defining f inverse. Sketch f and m f inverse on the same axes. State the domain of both. Find the asymptotes and intercepts of both. Okay. I'm going to start by graphing this. When x is 0. And I'm just talking for e to the x. Let's take a step back here. e to the x. When x is 0, y is 1. When x is 1, y is e, 2.71. So that would be those two points, roughly, and we'd have an asymptote on the x-axis. Um, what kind of shift is happening here? What does this minus 3 do? It shifts everything to the right 3. So our asymptote is still going to be at the x-axis. Our horizontal asymptote is going to be x equals 0. This point that was 0, 1 will become 0, 3. This point that was 1, e becomes 4, comma, e, 4, comma, 2.71. And my exponential equation looks like this. For f of x, the domain and range. Let's talk about those. So domain, all real numbers. The range, the set of y's such that y is greater than 0. Well, we can fill in for the inverse right now. The inverse is just going to be those two things flip-flop. So the set of x's such that x is greater than 0. The range becomes all real numbers. Cool. Asymptote. Let's talk about that. Asymptote for f of x is x equals 0. Um, we're just going to have to throw down a vertical asymptote going the same way. Boom. There's my asymptote for the inverse. And I got these equations completely backwards. Hopefully you all caught that. Horizontal asymptote y equals 0. Vertical asymptote x equals 0. And to graph f inverse, I don't even need an equation, guys. We just flip-flop the domain and range. This point right here, 3, 1, becomes 1, 3. This point right here, 4 comma e becomes e, 2.71 comma 4. And my graph goes a little something like that. Um, to find the axis intercepts, let's talk about f, the function, e to the x minus 3. Does it have an x-intercept? No. It will not cross the x-axis. Does it have a y-intercept? You bet. We plug in 0, we get e to the negative third. I'm just plugging in 0 right there. No x-intercept. 
Um, before we find intercepts for F inverse, let's find F inverse. Okay, so I'm going to write x equals e to the y minus 3. Natural log of x equals y minus 3. Change it to a log form. Natural log of x plus 3 is equal to y. There's our inverse. Will it have a y-intercept? No. If I plug in x equals 0, natural log of 0 is undefined. We can only log positive things. But we could find the x-intercept, and that x-intercept is just going to be the y-intercept for f of x, e to the negative third, comma, zero. That's this point right here. So I think we've satisfied all the points here. Find the equation defining f inverse. Got it, right here. Sketch the graphs on the same set of axes. There they are, orange for f of x, green for f inverse. State the domain and range of the two. Got it. Find any asymptotes and intercepts of the two functions. Got it. So there's all the bits and pieces that we need. Um, graphing logs, if you can graph an exponential, it's not bad. You just graph the exponential, switch the x's and the y's and domains and the ranges, and all of that stuff just flip-flops. X's become y's, y's become x's. Um, it's really not too terribly difficult. And you can check whatever you're doing with your technology, with your graphing calculator, with the computer. It's fairly easy to do in this day and age of high-powered graphing software.